Manx Radio Sport. Earlham to get us underway here. Millen Brown to take the starting kick of this game. Can FC Isle of Man finally end this horrid losing streak they've been finding themselves on? Or will Earlham pile more misery on the Manx side and continue their campaign to push up the table defensively? Pretty resilient outfit, this uh, this Earlham side. Can they replicate that once again? Daniel Wood, yet the referee gets things underway and Earlham get us started. Jack McVeigh with plenty of space halfway inside the FC Allerman half. Brings it forward around five yards and wants to clip that over the top of the Earlham defence. Charlie Higgins will go and chase on the left edge of the box here. The keeper's come a long way out. Charlie Higgins off the post! And it's cleared by Earlham. Out for a throw in for FC Allerman on the left-hand side. That's lifted the crowd a little bit. Lovely ball over the top from Jack McVeigh to Charlie Higgins' left edge of the box. Thomas Goodwin came out of the Earlham goal, then seemed to hesitate, and Higgins tried to loop it over him from a tight angle, and he clips the outside of the near post. We know what Steve Whitley can do here in this situation. Jack McVeigh's in there, two uh, real clever footballers, and uh, Jack McVeigh's just going to step away, so it's going to be Whitley. Just looking where Vera Davies is, he's facing the line, uh, so I would think he's the man he's going to hit. Whitley left-footed out, swinger goes to the back post, headed down by Fiora Davies and in! FC Alamant lead! And Fiora Davies off the bench so early has put the Ravens in front. FC Alamant 1, Earlham 0. Steve Whitley from the free kick on the left-hand side, 35 yards out. All the way to the back post, pinpoint there was Fura Davies, he powers down a header past Earlham goalkeeper Thomas Goodwin into the goalkeeper's bottom left-hand corner. Keeper got a touch on it, but he couldn't keep it out, and the Ravens, they have the advantage here. Ryan Burns will clear into the centre of the park, Main is there, header into Langford who moves it out to the right-hand side. Jacob Crook intercepts, past the slip of Connor Phelan, over the top, to the edge of the box, to Steve Whitley who's in on goal, right-footed, 2-0 to the Ravens! FC Alaman 2, Earlham 0. They catch Earlham with a quick fire double here. Jacob Crook intercepted on the left hand side, brought it forward a few yards. He clipped it over the Earlham back line, and Steve Whitley beat the offside trap, got to the edge of the penalty area, just took it down one touch and just squeezed a shot under Thomas Goodwin and into the back of the net. FC Alaman, two goals in pretty much as many minutes here. Back to John Main in the centre of the FC Alaman half here. The danger's not gone. Out to the left hand side it goes. Crossing in field, Millen Brown to strike one from distance. Oh my word, what a strike! It's game on here. F. Salaman 2, Erlen 1, and Millen Brown with a moment of magic there for the visitors. Brings the Manchester side back into it. F. Salaman didn't quite clear from the free kick. It was transferred out to the left hand side. Millen Brown cut inside onto his right foot and he unleashed an unstoppable right footed drive into Ben Wilkinson's top left hand corner. F. Salaman 2, Erlen 1. Throws out to this right hand side. And that will be the Last action of the first half here, and uh, the first 45 minutes, the Ravens currently are on track to end their six-game losing streak, but a lot of football still to be played. Half-time here, FC Alleman 2, Erlen 1. Well, goals and points have been so hard to come by for FC Isle of Man in recent weeks and months. Can they hold on or even add to the advantage they've got, or will Erlen fly out the traps to continue their hunt? For more points. One win in six for Earlham, although with four draws as well, so they know how to get points out of games even if they're not at their best. FC Alleman get us underway. Connor Phelan here. He's forced all the way back to Hartshorn on the halfway line. It's a loose pass. Here's Furo Davies. Picks it up for FC Alleman. Lovely little back heel into the path of Charlie Higgins. Up against Levi Lewis. It's a heavy touch on the edge of the box. He goes down. Referee points to the spot. It's an FC Alleman penalty. Here he comes. Jack McVeigh steps up, left footed, against the goalkeeper, into the bottom corner. Cool as you like from Jack McVeigh. FC Alleman 3, Earlham 1. Little stutter from Jack McVeigh. Just waiting for the goalkeeper Goodwin to commit. And Goodwin, who moved his feet one way, tried to get down to his left. But McVeigh just rolled it into Goodwin's bottom left-hand corner. FC Alleman, Tony, now leading by three goals to one. It's going to be Steve Whitley, left footed, in swinging corner from this uh, right-hand side. Salaman loading the box again with those big figures in there. Here is Whitley with the left footed delivery. Clips it all the way to the back post. Give it to us again there and it's in! Four! And Michael Williams is there! FC Alleman 4, Earlham 1. Whitley clipped it over the six yard box. The keeper, Thomas Goodwin of Earlham, came to collect it. It went right over the top of him. He was in no man's land and there was Michael Williams in behind him. Powered a header into an empty net. And FC Isle of Man now have themselves a three-goal advantage, something they haven't been able to talk about for quite some time. And all of a sudden, the atmosphere has lifted even more around the bowl. So FC Isle of Man 4, Earlham 1. John Main has stepped away, so Andrew Langford is there. 
Right footed outswinger all the way to the back post. Looking for Jacob Holt. Good save by Ben Wilkinson over the top. Earlham corner on the left hand side. It was a great delivery from Langford to the back left hand post. Jacob Holt was in there, the centre half for Earlham. Got a good connection on it, but Ben Wilkinson just managed to tip it over the crossbar. Yeah, great touch, wasn't it? Because uh, he was right in front of him and uh, came right the way uh, close to his face and he managed to just uh, parry it away. Corner to deal with. Earlham can break down this left hand side. Cunningham forced in field here, bundled to the ground by Furo Davies, who goes flying in on. Alfie Walker there, who tried to get away. It was a late challenge by Furo Davies here. And then more pushing and shoving going on between the two players. Well, it is a red card for Furo Davies. The referee, Daniel Woodjet, deeming that challenge too dangerous. I go straight down and just clutches that gratefully. And that is the final action. FC Alamans losing streak has finally come to an end. And it has been brought to an end in style. Full time at the bowl. FC Alaman 4 Earl and Watts. Manx Radio Sport.